after the paint job turned up to work and all the pallets and that have blown off. And the paint's still on there though. I'll need to uncover it properly to see what it's actually done. Oh, bollocks. It has marked it in a few places I can see already. Well, that's really annoying. It's also covered in water. Anyway, I'll whip all that off and see how bad the rest of it looks. Right, I've pulled the rest of the covers off and it's not bad. It's just a bit disappointing that straight after it's, well, it's not got ruined, but it doesn't look as nice as it did. That is the area that I chopped out and rebuilt. So, you know, when you open the engine bay, the turrets look nice, certainly nicer than they did. That one looked good, even where I sort of massaged it with a hammer as well. And then this side you'll see, because there's nothing that goes on here. That looks good. The scuttle area, you might remember that I replaced. That looks like it'll be okay. There's new metal in here and all of that corner and then before none of that was there i think was it that bit anyway it's not the best but considering it's the first go painting and really filling in detail looks pretty good you can't see where i joined it the join was through here so that's quite impressive for me for a first go the curve here looks good tapers out nicely um, my sort of tray that I made looks good, so I'm happy with that. You can see where the filler has shrunk a bit there, but to be quite honest, you don't see it when the bonnet's fitted. Um, same deal this side, you just see that line there, that's not a sand line, that's a scratch that's appeared, which is annoying. Um, you can't really see where I joined it there or there, so that's good. This is the area that was worst, most affected by bits of paint landing on it because the wind was blowing this way. So that's, as I say, annoying. Pleased with that area because that took a while to get right. Looks good. All the way down here, this was all dented where pallets had landed on it. So that looks nice. You can see that sort of reflection line is straight, which is good. So all in all, considering that I'm outside in an office car park, started this in November, it's now the beginning of March and we've had snow, frosts, wind, rain, you name it, we've had it. Um, I'm pretty pleased really with how it's going. There's one big screw up, which is over here. When I was painting, I um, sprayed this bit and loads of water ran out because I hadn't dried this area off. I've learned from um, suggestions on the comments section that I should have really dried it out after having wet primed it. Didn't know that. So you live and you learn. Um, this whole area was like quite rusty and I rubbed it all down and painted it but really I probably should have done some more prep. But to be fair I've had a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it in so when you um, like add it all up and you think about what would be realistic, then you know it isn't a body shop job. It was never going to be. It's blue and none of the paint's fallen off yet. So I'm actually realistic and quite happy. So I'm going to start working out, uh, well, take the rest of this crap off and um, I might leave these on just because I think having the bonnet propped up on those is a good idea. <coughs> But I'll remove all the rest of the masking and start working out what bits I've got to go back in and um, begin the rebuild process. Just picked out the um, all the masking from the windscreen aperture. This is the old binnacle cover. Now these are the bane of the Rover SD1 owner's life because they're made of like pressed cardboard and they always go wavy. The weird thing is this one has delaminated so the vinyl has come off but the, the pad itself is glass flat. So that's just plain weird. Can't explain it. Um, odd, but it's good because maybe I can recover that in blue vinyl and um, save buying a new one or a fiberglass version. 
Remember that nasty looking radiator? Well, I sent it off to be refurbished. So it's got a brand new core, um, the side tanks soldered back on, new captive threads inserted in the tops and bottom for the different brackets. Yeah, looks really nice. It's just happening to be in satin black, whereas I want it in gloss. So I've just laid it out on some card and I'm gonna paint this side gloss black, let it dry off, turn it over, do the other side. Um, and then while that is drying, I'm out here with Jubilee clips, bits and pieces that I think I'm gonna need. That's the oil cooler with some panel wipe because I need to clean that up ready so I can bolt it to that cross bracket which will go back in the car here and then I can reconnect my oil pipelines um, I think that's the first thing it needs to go in yeah so as I find bits and pieces I'll be bolting them back onto the car again well we have an explosion of nuts and bolts and washers and stuff um, I have got the oil cooler on its bracket on its lines and um, these are a pair of new much better condition rubber bungs for the rad blower mounts they go in there and i'm just waiting for the paint to dry see look how much look how good that is already uh yes yeah, so i'm waiting for the paint to dry my rad so while that's happening i'm going to start prepping that area for the new water pump not sure how much more I'm going to do tonight. I've just been mocking up with the radiator, um, trying to work out where everything goes. With the help of some photos, I've worked out how to put the rad frame together. I just need to order some or nuts and bolts um, and some washers as well. Right, now I'm feeling incredibly smug because check how good that bulkhead panel looks. That's my um, fiberglass and textured paint. That looks awesome. So they've got to come back out and have some final work done, a few holes drilled, and then the final coat of satin black. And of course the insulating foam on the back. But very happy. Um, so the evenings this week should see most of this put back together. Right, it's got dark. I've run out of time. I haven't really done much more other than mock up the bumper irons and fit the captive threads for the headlights and bits and pieces and chucked a couple of other bits. I've balanced the fans in on the back of the radiator. I don't know whether any of this is showing up but um, yeah I'm off to go and get some fish and chips now.